Hello, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we will go over how to create a dynamic material that only becomes visible when illuminated by a flashlight. We will explore how to use material parameter collections, sphere masks, and blueprint logic to make this effect work in real time. First, if you haven't already, create a new Unreal Engine project using the third-person controller template. Choose where to save it and name it accordingly. Once inside the project, navigate to the third-person blueprint folder and duplicate the third-person character blueprint. Click the game mode beside it and change the pawn to be spawned to our new created character blueprint. Select the directional light in the scene and reduce its luminosity to simulate a darker environment. Add a spotlight component to our new character controller. Change its cone angle to resemble a flashlight. Press play and you should see a character moving with a working flashlight. Back in the content browser, create a new folder called materials. Inside it, create a new material and name it M underscore flashlight reveal. Double click to open. Right click on the various material properties and promote them to parameters. For this tutorial, we only need color, but setting up additional parameters allows for more flexibility. We will need to change the material blend mode to mask for this to work. We will add a sphere mask node. This will be the key to the effect we're doing. The sphere mask requires two vectors, slot A will be the world position of our material and slot B will be the flashlight position and direction we'll calculate in the next step. To store the direction and position of our flashlight, we will create a material parameter collection, also known as MPC. Inside the MPC, add two vector parameters, one called flashlight position and one called flashlight direction. In the material, you can drag the MPC into the graph and select the corresponding vectors. We can use a component mask to extract the X, Y, and Z components of both our vectors. Subtract the object position from the flashlight position. This gives the direction from the flashlight to the object. Use a dot product to compare this direction to the flashlight's current direction. Multiply the dot product result with the flashlight direction. We can then add this result to the flashlight position and connect it to slot B of the sphere mask. We can finally connect the sphere mask output to the opacity mask input of the material. Apply the material to any object in the scene. As we can see while testing, the flashlight is not working. It's because our parameters are still empty. Go back into our character blueprint and go to its event graph. We will want to add an event tick that updates both the flashlight position and flashlight direction in the MPC. We will use the node set vector parameter value to set both vectors in our MPC. We will get the world location value and the vector forward value of our flashlight and fit both in with the same node. If we test it now, the effect will start to reassemble what we're going for, but it is still not there. It looks more of a cylinder than a flashlight. To fix this, we will make the sphere mask's radius dynamic. Using the length of the previous multiply node, multiply it with a tangent of a number. Set the tangent to 25 for now and the radius size to 3, although we can adjust this number to make the flashlight radius bigger or smaller in the future. This creates a proper cone shape, making it look way more like a flashlight. But the flashlight still renders objects behind it. We can clamp the dot product between 0 and 1. Multiply it with the sphere mask before connecting it to the opacity mask. This way, we will only render things that are in front of our flashlight. You can also create material instances to customize how different objects are revealed. This flashlight simulation could be a great foundation to whatever you're aiming for. I hope this tutorial helps. 
good luck with your game development. Thanks for watching, and if you found this useful, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Bye!